Hello everyone, welcome back. We are here with another day of science and I can't wait to keep talking with you about inherited and acquired traits. So yesterday was your first day when we were introduced to acquired traits, okay? An acquired trait is something you learn how to do, something you are taught how to do, okay? Or you teach yourself how to do. I'll read the definition for you again. Acquired traits develop during life, okay? An organism is not born with them. We are not born with them. Animals learn these, learn these, these acquired traits, when they interact with the environment. It's not in your DNA. It will not be passed on to the next generation. So let's look at that. So it's not something you're born with, something you learn how to do like the ability to ride your bike, comb your hair, brush your teeth. You aren't born knowing how to do those. You aren't born knowing how to go to school. That is an acquired trait. Learning how to sit in a classroom as a respectful student, listen to lectures and participate in schoolwork is something you learn how to do over time. Cook, learning how to cook, or sew, play hopscotch. All of those are acquired traits. Learning how to wink or blink. Blink is actually, I'm lying about that one. Blinking is an inherited trait, something you figure, your body figures out how to do. But winking is acquired. Many people don't know how to close just one eye at a time. Okay, it's something you learn how to do. Snapping, something you learn how to do. Painting your nails, an acquired trait. We spoke yesterday also about how animals interact with their environments and pick up acquired traits. Think of an animal that's a predator, an animal that eats other animals. Focusing on lions, they might have the instinct to go hunt for their food, but they're taught how to do it also by previous generations. It's not something they, that is ingrained in them that they know how to do. They learn how to do it. Okay. Knowing how to breathe is an inherited trait. That's something we all know how to do the minute we're born. Our bodies are programmed to take over that tool, that act. But knowing to brush the hair out of your face, brushing your teeth, flossing your teeth is something you learn how to do. It's not ingrained within you. It's not one of the puzzle pieces of your DNA that makes you up, that gives you the information you need in order to be able to complete those skills. Time, work, and effort goes into learning how to take care of yourself, how to do the acquired traits we've been discussing. Hunting, riding a bicycle, taking care of your oral hygiene. That's learned. It's not given. Now we've discussed the differences a little bit today. I'll give you more information about them in another video on your Google slide. What I want to know from you today is how they are the same, how acquired traits and inherited traits are the same, and how they're different. Please feel free to respond in whatever way is most comfortable for you. You can leave me a voice message, you can draw, you can write. If you draw, please label so that I understand your drawing. But I want to know what you think, and I want to know that you understand the difference between these two sets of traits. Okay? Just do your best. That's all I ever ask. I will see you tomorrow for our field trip. And you have Friday off. So I hope you enjoy and you get to do something fun this weekend. Goodbye, everyone.